Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Twaba and today we are learning the algorithm for inserting element in the linked list at the end position. We are assuming that there is a linked list which contain three nodes. Every node of linked list has two parts. The first one is info and the second part is link part. Here the node one link part contain the address of node two node 2 link part contain the address of node 3 and the last node node 3 has the null link list contain a start pointer which point to the address of first node let us suppose there are certain elements inside this link list let's say the node 1 contain 7 in the info part node 2 contain 9 and node 3 contain 10 System contain a list of free spaces that is called away list. Let us suppose there are two free spaces means two free nodes. Nodes of away list also contain two parts. The first one is info and the second one is link. Link part of first node point to the next and the link part of the next node has null. There is a whale pointer which point to the first node. Available list is a list of free spaces. The next one is item. Item is the element which we want to insert at the end of the link list. Let us suppose that item is 19. This algorithm insert item as the end node in the list, which means item 19 will be inserted at the end of link list. Line number one of algo says that if a whale is null, we know that a whale is the list which provide us the available spaces. But let us suppose a whale is null. The meaning is that there is no node available. So if we don't have any free node, that means we cannot insert. So here we will write overflow and we will exit from the algorithm. But let us suppose we don't have the case of avail equal to null. So here we already have our available list which contain few nodes. Now we are going on the line 2. That means we have the available spaces. So set new is equal to avail. New is a pointer which is taking the value of avail and avail contain the address of first free node that means inside the new we have the address of first free node so by this we are going to take the first node from the free list and now available will move forward so here we are mentioning avail is equal to link avail we know that avail is a pointer which is having the address of first node and here link portion contain the address of next node. So here avail is equal to link avail. That means here link avail signify the next node address. So here avail is going to the next node. Now the avail node no more has the address of first node. It is having the address of next node. Line number three of algo says that set info of new is equal to item we know that new is a pointer which is pointing to the first node and here info part that means this part is info that will be having the item and the item is 19 so here in this new node we are placing the 19 now the line number four set PTR is equal to start. So PTR is a pointer that is having the value of start. That means it is having the address of node number one. Now the line number five, repeat step six. That means six step will be repeated while link of PTR not equal to null. So here we are checking that PTR is on the node number one. And here link portion is having the address of next node. 
and next node is not null. So here condition is true that link PTR not null. So the line number 6 will execute that set PTR is equal to link PTR. We know that the link portion have the address of next node. So here PTR is going to have the address of next node and the previous value will be discarded. It is a loop. It will go back and again check whether link of PTR not equal to null. So here we are checking that PTR is a pointer that is pointing on the node number 2 and here link is having the address of next node and the next node is not null. So here condition is true and the line number 6 will execute. So PTR is equal to link PTR. So here PTR is pointing on the node 2 and link of PTR is the next node. So here PTR will be going to the next node which is node number 3 and the previous value will be discarded. Again the loop will go back and checking the condition and the condition is link of PTR not equal to null. We know that PTR is a pointer which is pointing on node number 3 and here link portion of that node has null. That means this condition is false because link of PTR is null and here line number 6 will not execute. The line number 7 says set link of PTR is equal to new. Here we know that the PTR is a pointer that is pointing on the node number 3. And here we have the link part. This link part is equal to new. So here link of PTR is having the value which is with the new. And we know that new is having the value that is address of the node which we have taken from the away list. That means it is having the next node that is 19. And the previous value was discarded. Afterward we have link of new is equal to null. Here we know that new is having the address of node and here the node link part that will be equal to null. So here the previous value was discarded. So node number 19 is successfully added at the end of link list. So now we are traversing this list. So we are going from the start and we know that starting having the address of node number 1. So here the first value which is 7 that is captured. Now the link portion is having the address of next node, node number 2. And here the value 9 that is captured. Then link part is having the address of node number 3 and here the value is 10. The node 3 link part is having the address of next node and here the value is 19 and afterward it is going to the null that means link list is ended. So here we can see that the item 19 is inserted at the last position in the link list. So this is the algorithm for inserting the node in the link list at the end.